Now, no one has pointed out the reality here, guys, and it is this. Tesla's cost per car that it manufactured in the fourth quarter was its lowest ever, but so were its profits. And the reason is, it's selling at very low prices. It's undercutting almost all of its competition in most countries worldwide. However, Tesla made a huge profit, in fact, its biggest ever from its other division that no one really talks about. I'm not talking about carbon credit sales. It sold about $2 billion of those in 2023, which added to its profits at about $540 million per quarter, which no one mentioned either. I'm talking about its energy storage division and its very rarely talked about area of its energy storage division that no one seems to really acknowledge exists. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Yes, Tesla is not just an electric car company. Yes, it makes pretty good profit now from its energy division. But a lot of people think, well, that's just selling batteries. You know, it's good, but you're just selling a product and then that's it. After that, you don't make any more money, right? It's not like Netflix where you get subscriptions and people pay you money every month. Well, actually, that's not true. Tesla's energy storage division is a lot like Netflix. In fact, very similar to Netflix. But Netflix, well, for them to provide you with uh, what you get, basically what they're giving you for the money, you pay you $20 or $10 or whatever it is a month, they've got to spend hundreds of millions, in fact, billions of dollars on content. For Tesla, they don't have to do that with energy storage. Yes, they can sell you batteries, but often Tesla just leases the software. Like a Tesla virtual power plant, right? Tesla sells the batteries, you sign up to the power plant, Tesla makes money, you make money, Tesla's happy, you're happy, and Tesla pays for what? Nothing. It costs them virtually nothing. Now, yes, they had to write the software. They had to figure out how to get all this software to work, and that did cost them money, but that was all work done in the past. Now, Tesla is not just operating virtual power plants for consumers like you, like everyday Joe Blow down the street. No, Joe Smith has one next to you, and you've got one, and you're all drawn up. It's not the case. In fact, Tesla makes more money through having arbitrage on mega batteries around the world. Some of the biggest batteries in the world were manufactured or Tesla was involved in their production. And Tesla uses, well, the biggest reason, in fact, that people get Tesla to do these jobs because Tesla charges more than other companies. But I'm thinking, why did Tesla get that mega battery there in Australia? Well, why did they get Tesla to do it when they charge more than everyone else? Well, the reason is because it works. The software works and it works very well. Tesla makes money. The energy company makes money, which we know is true because we've seen companies make money. We've seen the profits that they've posted and they've gone and doubled the size of the batteries within a year. They know they work and Tesla makes money out of nothing. And that's one of the things that people are missing. Carbon credits, similar scenario. Tesla's sort of making money out of nothing, but so is its energy division. Tesla actually quadrupled its profits in its energy storage and solar division in 2023. And right now we're seeing Tesla stock price. It's down, right? It's below 200 US dollars. It's down this year by, I believe, more than 30% now. After hours trading, the stock is tanking after Tesla's Q4 reporting. But I think that's truly, truly a missed opportunity for a lot of people. The big headlines out of the Tesla conference call that took place are that Tesla's sales growth is slowing down. However, we all expected that to happen. It wasn't possible to continue at those incredible gains. However, at the same time, Tesla's energy storage business is doing incredibly well, and that's what Tesla said would happen. Profits from its energy storage and energy generation division nearly quadrupled, according to Clean Technica, in 2023 compared to 2022. Energy storage deployments more than doubled in that time frame, reaching 14.7 gigawatt hours. Now, can you see the correlation here, guys? Can you do the maths here? I'm sure you can. You're all very smart individuals, I know that. Here's the thing. If their energy storage deployments doubled, how the hell did they quadruple profits? Well, one, yeah, Battery prices have gone down, sure, but Tesla's passed on a lot of those discounts. They've reduced the prices of their mega packs. They've reduced the prices of their products as well at the same time as battery prices have come down. But that still doesn't 
add up. It still doesn't add up. Why would Tesla make double the profit? It's because it's accruing profits from being an energy storage supplier. It's profits in that area don't, they're not once off scenarios where they sell one product, they make a profit, move on, you've got to sell another product. It's an accrued revenue. It's like a revenue generation stream that we're ignoring. Now, Toyota probably doesn't even know this exists. All these naysayers, Stellantis, all the people who say Tesla's just a car company, I believe they don't even know about this. I believe they wouldn't have the faintest. If you smacked them in the face with a, with a, with a wet fish and you told them, guys, this is what Tesla's doing, then maybe they'd wake up and go, oh, wow, well, I didn't know that. That's very interesting. Most people don't know what Tesla does with its energy storage. They don't know about the software that Tesla uses on a daily basis that works as a Pika plant. And they don't know what Elon Musk is talking about when he says, we're going for the low hanging fruit, the, the easy fruit. We can easily go for these Pika plants that are charging, what do they charge? Many of them charge 70 times the cost of energy when they have to fire up these Pika plants. So what, comes, what happens is these batteries, mega batteries come along, they displace these Pika plants, they make huge profits. And Tesla skims their profit off that. You pay Tesla to use their software on an ongoing basis. Energy storage deployments decrease sequentially in Q4 to 3.2 gigawatt hours for a total deployment of 14.7 gigawatt hours in 2023, said Tesla, a 125% increase compared to 2022. So you can see here, 125% increase, right, is a pretty massive number. They said, while we expect deployments will continue to be volatile on a sequential basis impacted by logistics and the global dist distribution of projects at any given time, we expect continued growth on a trailing 12 month basis going forward. We continue to ramp our 40 gigawatt hour mega factory in California toward full capacity. Now, as you can see from this graph here, Tesla's energy storage deployments have ballooned. That's not slowing down. That is actually accelerating. If you look at the number of batteries being built right now, the deployment of batteries is growing. And the key reason why is this. There's so much evidence that they work, that it's cheaper to get a Tesla battery than continue using these ancient Pika plants, fossil fuel powered Pika plants. So countries are just starting to deploy them everywhere. And the other advantage is the price is going down. The evidence is mounting that it's the best thing to do. I mean, back up your solar. Why, why waste all this solar you're creating during the day? Back it up. Use it at nighttime. The solar side of the business, though, is not booming. As I think everyone knows, solar deployments declined on a sequential and year-over-year -year basis to 41 megawatts. Downward pressure on solar demand continued into Q4 as interest rates have remained high. Profitability in the quarter was negatively impacted by lower deployments and seasonal weakness in solar energy generation. Now, I think we can pretty much write off solar. I mean, think about it, right? Uh, panel prices from China went down by more than 40% over the past 12 months. China sells to everyone except the United States. Uh, not much of a market for solar. Now, I feel sorry for a lot of these solar companies in the United States that are clearly struggling. In Europe as well, the, the solar, solar manufacturers in Europe are basically mostly closed down. There's very few left. So here's the thing. Solar will disappear at Tesla, but energy deployments and Tesla, you could call them energy subscriptions, will continue to rise. That's a win for consumers, it's a win for Tesla, and to be honest, it's actually a win for the planet. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.